All right, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Hockey 2005, and we have made it to the Clanky Cup, final episode of the series, taking a look here at the playoff tree. We won, uh, We had a bye in the regional finals, so we didn't have to play the regionals. We ended up beating the Rangers. We beat up on the Rangers 20-6. to We beat the Igloos 11-7. Uh, kind of a very, it was a very ugly game. A ton of penalties. We were pretty much played the whole game shorthanded, but we did went, manage to win that one 11-7. And now we are in the Backyard Hockey League finals. I really thought we were going to have a rematch against Oglethorpe on the Kings, but... They got ousted by the Oilers in the conference final, 6-5. to five. So we're going to take a look at the uh, Oilers here. Um, see, take a look at how why they made it to the finals. And then, yeah, it's the last episode, the last the last uh, game of, the, of Hockey 2005 here. So take a look at the Edmonton Oilers. I already see Jorge Garcia on there. But from left to right, they got Kathy Wolf, good puck control. Grace Tipton, I would assume, would be their goalie with uh, really good goaltending stats. Isabel Morelli, good shooter. Isaac Drummond looks like their best player all around. Robbie Baco, Sasha Popov, and then Jorge Garcia. So, my guess is they made it because Grace Tipton looks like a really good goalie. Anyone with like that high of goalkeeping stats usually tends to make more saves. Um, Isaac Drummond looks like, again, their best all-around player. Isabel Morelli, good shooter. So I can see why this team uh, play, got here, got this far. But we've gotten this far, too. And, you know, I I have to imagine that, you know, we were on, what, like a 13-game win streak or something like that. It's been a while since we've lost. You know, it would be pretty upsetting if we, if we got this far to lose it. So... We're going to hop in here to this Clanky Cup Finals. Last episode of the series. Last, uh, you know, last game of the playoffs. We're going to we're gonna go out of the bang here. So let's hop in, see if we can win this Clanky Cup. You're just in time, hockey fans. We are coming to you live from the time-honored, humongous, rectangular, where it's go time for both these teams as they strap for Commissioner Clanky's Cup. Here in the finals, the Edmonton Oilers go head to head against the Scrappy Llamas. Sunny day here, along with a kid whose teeth can be seen in three states and two provinces. Buddy Chat. Thanks, Sunny. I love hockey, and this is totally the place for it. Oh, man, this is what it's all about. No more fooling around. These kids better have their best deeks today because it all boils down to today's game. Where is your favorite place to skate, buddy? I swear, the best place is out by my house at the frozen cranberry bogs. Sometimes the ice is like sort of bumpy and there are little bushes sticking out so you twist your ankle and the edges are so thin you fall through and go up to your patoot in the freezing mud. <laughs> That sounds terrible. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess it is, kind of. <laughs> but uh, it's still my favorite place. And the game is ready to begin. Let's take a look. Ricky All right, here we go. Bombas versus the Oilers here at the Humongous Memorial Gardens. Clanky Cup Championship is on the line here. And you know, All you right, let's see. Injuries, like Ooh, good, good back check. Big save. All right, let's see if we can get one here. Ricky Johnson. Ooh, good. Good, good, good back check by the Oilers there. And the Oilers get the first goal of the finals. Kathy Wolf gets it. We haven't even gotten a shot off. Uh, the Oilers have actually had a good, done a good job of corralling the puck. So not the way we wanted to start off this one. We just need to start putting shots on the net. That's usually the way we win. We, we outshoot the team. And, you know, that, that's usually the key to success. Ooh, I try to get around. Ricky, okay. All right. Yeah, it's, 
Grace Tipton, again, she has those really good goaltending stats, so it's going to be tough to get by her. Ricky Johnson. Ooh, nice try. Again, if we just keep taking shots, one of these is bound to go in. It's my philosophy, at least. Hey, there it is. One timer, the Weber connection ties up this final here at one. Ashley Weber from Sydney Weber, and we are on the board. All right, we are now going to line number two, one minute down here in this first period. Again, Grace Tipton. It's going to be tough to to get to find uh, puck, get pucks by her, but oh, is that, I think that was off the post, off the post for Ronnie Dobbs. Nice try, nice try. We're gonna it's gonna take oh another big save from Grace Tipton. Yeah, she's uh, she's making some big saves, but we are doing a much better job of uh, body checking without taking penalties. I say that I'm going to take a penalty here probably. Oh no, no, not yet. All right, up to Boom Boom. All right, uh, no, no. All right, good, good job, good job, Boom. All right, let's get up to Annie. Annie Frazier. Yes, Annie Frazier. She has been so good this year. She's been so underrated on our team. I mean, I know the uh, Ricky Johnson has led her team in goals and the Webbers have done their thing, but Annie Frazier... She's been an unsung hero for us all year long. Just big goal after big goal. She kind of carried us in the last game as well uh, in the conference finals. So that's a big goal. We'll give us a 2-1 lead here. Ooh, big save by Kenny. Ricky, breakaway. Ricky Johnson gets, a, gets his first goal of the game. 3-1 to one Llamas here in the finals. That's more like it. Grace Tipton frozen on the breakaway. Now, now that's more like it. That's, good things happen when you stay out the penalty box. Big save, Kenny. I love it. I love to see it. Ooh, I try to get it over to Ricky. We're going to give him a breakaway. Ooh, big save, though, by Kenny. Ashley. Oh, I kind of skated right in there on that one. Ashley, get up. All right, good. Okay, that works. That works. That works. Oh, nice try. Uh, we're going to give this one up, I think. Oh, Sydney with the back check. And Ricky on the breakaway again. And he scores again on the breakaway. Four to one Llamas here in the finals. Two goals in a row on the breakaway for Ricky. And Grace Tipton is finally starting to seem human. She is, we're starting to crack some holes in that armor. Uh, but they're going to get... I don't know how they got a power-up. I didn't see the power-up come up, but the Oilers got a big one on the power-up. That was going to go in from no matter what. I think uh, there was some ice tilt there. The rest had to get them back in the game. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's uh, it's the finals. You know, they want the ratings to be good. They want the game to be close. They want to keep the Oilers in this one. So they, they slid them a power of. They slid one to them. It's all right. We don't need it. Up to Ronnie. Nice try. This is a good pass from Boom Boom to set that up. Annie. Oh, Boom Boom. Oh. Ronnie, nice try. Oh, no. This will be a, bra a back-breaking goal. All right, we'll take it. We'll take a 2-4 lead. Okay, they're on a roll. Two goals up. Now let's see if they can turn that into a streak, which is three goals up, I think. And that's a fact. Now, let's head back to the action. All right, we'll take a two-goal lead at the end of one. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. It looks like we're starting off with line number two, the Annie Frazier line. Oh, and there's our first penalty of the game. Who else would it be other than Boom Boom? Our worst player during the regular season. 
for this. I, and I don't think there's much debate about that, but he's, uh, you know, he's for morale. It's probably funny in the locker room. Probably gets the team going. But we now have a penalty we got to kill off. Ronnie up to Annie. Who I, again, I skated right into there. But Annie with a big body check. Ronnie to Annie. What a goal. Tic-tac-toe shorthanded. It's almost like we play better without Boom Boom out there on the ice. But Annie's got two now. Shorthanded goal. Should be almost done with the uh, the penalty kill. Boom should be back on the ice in a couple seconds here. Oh! Oh, what a goal! What a shot! I was honestly just trying to put that one on net, but Annie Frazier has a hat trick here in the Clanky Cup Finals. I really was not expecting that one to go in. Again, I was just trying to put the puck on the net. Uh, you know, but hey, works. And Boom Boom is coming out the box, so we're back to even strength. We end up getting two goals shorthanded, and there it is, another 7-2 to two lead. Three quick goals here to start off the second period. Ashley from Ricky. Grace Tipton is starting to, starting to crack here in the second period. Oh, they got a power up. Yep. That is two straight power up goals again. I'm telling you, the rest they they want the Oilers to hang around. They don't want they don't want the ratings to tank. They're they're, they're throwing them power ups to keep them in it. Save percentage wise, Kenny's actually outplaying Grace Tipton. But again, she's seen a ton more shots than Kenny has. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad turnover. Bad turnover. The Oilers get two quick goals back on their of their own. Isabel Morelli has that good shot. Definitely not the person we want to give a breakaway to. This team will not be crushed. for the face-off. Looks like we're going to line two, which has been broken up. Sydney is now playing on line number two. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's a big save. It's a big save. We definitely didn't want to get three in a row like that. Oh, what a backhand from Sydney. You know, the lines get jumbled up, but it doesn't matter. Annie finds Sydney in the slot, and she buries it on the backhand. And we have regained a four-goal lead here. A ton of goals here to start off the second period. Already, already more, already more goals in the first minute of this period than we saw all of period number one. Sasha Popov from Jorge Garcia, and it's a three-goal game once again. We got a ton of goals here to start out this first minute of the second period. Two, uh, I think we had four, and they have three. I think. Oh, I tried to do the same play. Try to do the same play, give it to City on the backhand, but it didn't work out this time. Uh-oh. Ooh, big, that's a big save, Kenny. Up to Annie, okay. Ah, so close. Ooh, Sydney, okay. Ooh, another huge body check from Annie Frazier. But once again... Once again, the power-up goes to the Oilers. We have not been getting any luck with the power-ups. Ronnie Dobbs on the breakaway. Not really who you want on the breakaway, but it's all right. I assume the next whistle, the Ricky Johnson line, will be coming back out. Oh, Sydney, ah, right in the slot. Good find from Annie. Just couldn't bury it. Ooh, good save from Kenny. Again, we don't want to. We don't want to give them get them back in the game here. All right, Sydney Weber. Ah, nothing there. Oh, Sydney, ah, couldn't couldn't get that rebound. But again, we have done a good job of back checking without taking penalties. Ronnie, Ronnie, Sydney, yes. Whoa, that is exactly what we needed. Four goal lead is restored. Grace Tipton let that juicy rebound right in front, and Sydney does makes no mistake. They are really starting to own this game, I 
All right, that was a big goal. That was a big goal. Ricky John's line's coming up. I say it's a big goal because if they got the next goal, it's only a two-goal game, and, you know, anything can happen at, at that point. Ashley, oh, it looked like we had the whole net open. Ashley, though, good back check. Ricky Johnson to Ashley. Ooh, good good stick by the goalie blocking that uh, that pass. All right, ooh, good check. Good save. Power up. We're, we got a power for once. We got a power for once. Ricky, oh, boom, 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 buries it. I thought he was going to miss. I really thought he was going to miss that empty net. But he buries it. Boom Boom has a goal in the finals. Boom Boom has a finals goal, and you'll never be able to take that away from him. You'll never be able to take that away from him. He has scored a goal in the Clank of Finals, giving us a five goal lead, and we are going on the power play. Caught chicken from behind. They're ready to try it again. 12 seconds left. Can we get one more here? One more here before the period ends. Oh, we do. Annie Frazier gets another. And we have a six-goal lead, our biggest lead of the game. The Llamas can taste that stand, that Clanky Cup. They can taste it. They are one eight seconds and one period away from Clanky Cup champions. Oh, another rebound left by Tipton. All right. That ends the second period. This is getting embarrassing, buddy. The Llamas, 11, the Oilers, 5. Not going to be hard to call this one, buddy. That's maybe not the last nail in the coffin, but I think it's fair to say that probably there's going to be a coffin involved here. <laughs> well said, buddy. And now, less talky, more hockey. Annie moves to the center ice to face off. One period to go, and we will be Clanky Cup champions. Three minutes and change. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. We've stayed done a good job staying out the box compared to last game where we were taking penalty after penalty. We've scored goals. We've, we've found a way to beat Grace Tipton. Uh, Kenny's had a decent game. I think I think it's I think it's all lining up here. I think it's all lining up here. Two thirty to go. Big save, Kenny. Love to see it. All right, we've already played 30 seconds here in the period. Ronnie Dobbs, nice try. All right, we use the magnetic puck. Ooh, fight. Fight in the finals here. The Oilers are, are showing some frustration. They lose. They lose the rock, paper, scissors battle. Isaac Drummond going to the box. Looks like he's going to be two on two for a little bit. Uh-oh, Annie. Nice try. A big save. Big save from Kenny. Annie picks it up. And, and you get there. Get there. Oh, Annie Frazier. That is five goals for Annie. Annie Frazier is too good. She's too good. I, 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 I When I drafted her way back when, when the series started, I just drafted her because we needed a body checker. You know, I thought she was going to be like an enforcer, someone who's just going to hit the puck. Or, or, you know, get the puck back on body checks. But, no, she has been arguably our second-best goal scorer all season long besides Ricky. And in, recently in the playoffs, she's been our best goal scorer easily. Easily been one of our best players. 149 remaining here. It is looking pretty good here for us. Seven-goal lead. Yeah, we've, we've done a great job of getting body checks. And he's got a double hat trick. Double hat trick for Andy Frazier. MVP for sure. Andy Frazier's got to be your playoff MVP. I mean, I don't even remember how many goals she had last game, but I think she had five last game as well, at least. Boom, boom, whoa. 
Where did that come from? I have been trying that with Boom Boom all series long, and he never scores goals like that. All right, Boom Boom's got two goals here in the finals. Grace Tipton looks like she's giving up. Looks like she is. she's throwing in the white flag. She's throwing in the towel. 1.30 to go. Another save for Kenny. Maybe all Boom Boom need was some different line mates to get him going. You know, ever since he got moved to this line after the penalty, he's got two goals. Uh, I, I thought I, I thought I skated over it. They're gonna get a free goal here. Yeah, I mean, th literally three of the Oilers' goals have come off the power up. Man, I really wish we had that. I could have got Boomer's hat trick. Kathy Wolf gets the hat trick instead. Yeah, I, re I really wish we picked that up. Literally would have passed it to Boom right away. He would have got his hat trick. It's all right though. It's all right. We're gonna we're, we're we're gonna win the more important battle on the scoreboard and, and get the the Clanky Cup trophy. Annie Frazier on the breakaway again. Uh, I skated too too close this time. Too close to the goalie. Fifty seconds remaining. Nice try, Ronnie. I realize I've been drafting Ronnie a lot in recent series. Usually I draft him as like a meme because he's usually kind of bad, but he wasn't that bad in this series. Annie Frazier. Another goal. I mean, you got to say, she's scoring goals in different ways, too. Like all kinds of ways. She's been scoring uh, on breakaways. She's been scoring on one-timers, on slap shots, you know, on deeks. She, she's literally been scoring every which way. That is seven goals for Annie in the finals. Unreal. Unbelievable performance. 30 seconds left for before we are officially uh, champions. Oh, what a... What a now, we're, now we're just showing off. Now we're just showing off. Ricky Johnson. What a pass from the corner. Ashley, no look. Buries it for the Hattie. Gotta feel bad for Grace Tipton at this point, you know. There's nothing she could have done. Nothing she could have done in this one. The Llamas were just determined. They've been relentless for the last, like, two months. I don't even remember where, when we started this playthrough. They've been relentless in pursuit of this Clanky Cup, and they did, they did not let up. And now, ten seconds away. All right, here it is. One, and we done it. We have done it. Clanky Cup champions. All right, there it is. There's our trophy. We unlocked the humongous gardens rink, and we have won the Clanky Cup. Commissioner Clanky's Cast Iron Cup goes to the Scrappy Llamas for winning the BHL champions. The Llamas are champions. Scrappy Llamas completed their dream season by beating the Oilers to win the BHL championship and Commissioner Clanky's Cast Iron Cup. Players celebrated by going over to Coach Valley Joe's house. Uh... I don't remember that. All right. But um, for a big ice cream and cake party in related news, Llamas star player Ricky Johnson was sent to, sent to bed early with a tummy ache. All right. That I remember. That makes sense. League leader Ricky Johnson uh, led the league in goals scored. Good. Ashley Weber led the league in assists. Um, Ricky Johnson accomplishes. Oh, he led the league in points as well. Kenny led the league in wins. Rookie of the year goes to Kenny. MVP goes to Kenny. Interesting. Not who I would have picked. Not who I would have picked. Oh, so they're all rookies of the year. They're all rookies of the year. Got it. All right. So.
All right, so there you have it. Uh, we are officially the Backyard Hockey League champions. So I, I like. I think Backyard Hockey is one of my. Uh, I don't say one of my favorite, but I do think it's one of the more fun backyard games. Uh, out of all them. I like it more than Backer Hockey 2002. I think the updated um, graphics and designs and, you know, some of the, uh, it, like, different gameplay uh, variety that they added compared to 2002. I, I like the improvements. Uh, but that being said, it is still a very easy game, even on a hard difficulty. Once I figured out what I was doing and how to score goals, it, it got very easy. Um, so, like, I, you know, I said in the past where... Uh, if there, if it made sense for me to do another series or something like that, I would repeat series. I don't really think it makes sense for me to repeat, you know, any of the hockey series. Uh, they're also some of the, you know, less popular series on the channel. They're they're way, they're much less. They're they're probably the least popular series compared to like the backer baseball or football or even soccer or basketball. Hockey probably gets the least amount of views out of all the series I do. So. I uh, don't really think I'll be doing another series for the backyard hockey. But that being said, I am glad I was able to finish uh, 2002 and 2005 and win the uh, the Clanky Cup for both series. So, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I had fun. But that is probably going to do the uh, be it for backyard hockey on the channel. But uh, stay tuned for other backyard sports or just other content in general. I will definitely uh, be make, doing some new series. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to end up replacing this series. We'll 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 see. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll I'll figure it out. But yeah, this was Backyard Hockey 2005. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>